Well, guys, you might remember my video the other day about Sadiq Khan and his ultra-low emission zone expansion that saw him getting roasted by Conservative Councillor Garrett as he sat there ignoring figures because they didn't say what he wanted them to. That is not... Sorry, I'm not sure... This, this is the in integrated impact assessment that is on the page where people go to to do the consultation. Those are the figures on that table. Yeah. I've given you the table number and the page number. I don't understand how you're quibbling with those figures. That is what they're saying will right. be the estimate. Well, of what the I'm impact. saying is that I recognise those figures. This, it seems, is setting off more people calling him out because now the legality of his plan is being questioned by the people whose job it is to make sure these scumbags don't break the law with the policies they push. This is good news because the Surveillance Commissioner has publicly stated that Khan's push to expand the low emission zone while using AMPR cameras to do it would actually be illegal. Well, he said questionable legality so can be challenged in court if he goes ahead with it, which is obviously something at least. But that is not all. The Surveillance Commissioner actually went further as the Telegraph writes here. It says Professor Fraser Sampson, the Commissioner, said the use of AMPR cameras to identify motorists breaching these zones was of questionable legality and there was limited evidence it would benefit society. Of course, he must be talking about this bit there from the same little clip I showed you earlier. Okay, well, so on the independent impact assessment, uh, table 95 on page 165 says that to take two places at random, uh, Sutton's particulate level will go from 9.5 without the scheme to 9.5 with the scheme. Croydon's will go from 9.6 without the scheme to 9.6 with the scheme, so that's no change. Uh, nitrogen dioxide levels from 19.5 to 19.2, Sutton 19.0 to 18.7, Croydon. Those are very typical levels, N no real change in particulate no, levels. That's all right. Yep, it's completely worthless as we know, but it goes on further down. He warned of state overreach and called for a democratic debate over whether the climate crisis was so serious that it justified such intrusive tactics against motorists. Now, nah, never mind against motorists, mate. No intrusive tactics is justified against anyone full fucking stop. In fact, no politician or rubber tosspot has that right over anyone if you ask me. This should all be illegal, but the AMPR thing, it seems, already actually is. The move by Professor Sampson, a former police officer and terrorism expert, raises the prospect that motorists could mount legal challenges against the fines. Yeah, someone needs judicial review or some shit against the old fucking net zero idea, really, never mind just against these bloody fines. Of course, the expansion of this emission zone, no, has got bugger all to do with clean air as I've literally said before. It's simply about clawing more money from the average Joe while removing cars from the road. Khan, like Anal Schwab, wants to remove your right to car ownership so eventually you'll own nothing and be happy. Shit, the WEF literally said they want to end private car ownership like a week ago now so you don't even need to take my word for it. They openly admit they don't want you owning cars and our politicians are no more than Schwab sock puppets so you can be sure it's coming here soon.